Okay, so recently that op-ed that you wrote this weekend, it says the state missed the mark by focusing on business factors. You've been uh, stressing this for months now. What do you mean by that? Well, I mean, and it, it shows, goes to prove right now the, the point that businesses were not the, at fault. You know, the business sectors were being punished, you know, for the, a rise in case numbers and things like that from this color-coded tier that the uh, Sacramento gave us. And quite frankly, even Dr. Galley now from the state and our mm -hmm. own health advisor or health, health officer in San Diego County has said, the virus is everywhere. It's not the fault of a business or not the fault of any sectors. And quite frankly, even in our health officer's adjudication letter in October, you know, if we had allowed restaurants to be open at 25%, gyms at 10%, churches to be open for indoor, you know, none of those really had any detrimental effect on the rising case in, in numbers. And those people, those folks could, could be making a living right now or having their businesses open instead of the, the rising cases and the anxiety of not having, you know, money sure. to pay the bills and, and, and things like that. So the business sectors, to me, this is, proves the point that they were not at fault. You, you feel like there are other solutions to curbing the virus. You've been trying to convince uh, your fellow uh, commissioners of this uh, to help curb the virus. Obviously, nothing has helped if at this point in the game, it's almost the end of the year, things are getting worse. They're not getting better. Uh, what do you propose now versus what you were proposing maybe three, four, five, six months ago? Well, and how do we get what it to I work? haven't proposed. Well, I mean, it, well, what I was proposing at that time is we safely open businesses and continue to follow all of the safety guidelines, in which we have been. You know, but even though the cases continue to rise at this point in time, you know, we're in the we're in the cooler uh, season now, where this is where viruses thrive. Mm, yeah. But you know, I do think the focus needs to be on hospitalizations, not on cases or case numbers or things like that. Even with the, the case rate right now. We're testing at 30, you know, 30 people per 100,000 are testing positive in San Diego County. That is 30 one hundredths of one percent of those testing positive, and of that, about six percent go to the hospital, and of also of that small number, about one percent of those are dying. Now we don't want anybody to die, so we want everybody to continue, you know, to follow the health, the safety precautions. Let the focus be on our hospitalizations instead of case rates. And our hospitalization rates are up. Our hospitalizations, right. I think, are now about 700 people in the hospitals. What we had set aside at the beginning of this whole thing was was 20% of the hospital beds should be for COVID, which is about 1,200 beds. Well, we're at about 700. So should we take the precautions? Absolutely. Should we have shut down the businesses? No, I don't think, you know, Sacramento, I think, you know, was, was, was focusing on the wrong target of businesses, should have been focusing better on setting a better example instead of our governor going out to dinner instead of, you know, the lawmakers up and down the, uh, you know, the, the state saying one thing and, and then doing yeah. another. I mean, we saw that in you know, L.A. as well. There's a, there's a lot of hypocrisy there. That's the human factor. Yeah. And that there is a lot of hypocrisy. I wanted to talk more about the fact that you mentioned this thing about the focus should be on the hospitalization. You mentioned the hospitalizations are up. We've been reading all morning here. We have almost 200 people in ICUs in San Diego. We just had a report. The focus on hospitalization. They're up. Surge facilities are getting prepared throughout the state. They have arenas, event centers, empty department stores getting ready. They've tripled, perhaps tripled over the next month. Where are we? What, what, that is the hospitalization concerns that we were worried about a few months back. So is opening businesses again going to help that? Or I just, it, everybody's just trying to figure out the proper way to address this right now. Well, I, you know, the, the, the fact it's that not opening easy. a business is kind of, is moot. I mean, at this point, at this point in time, it is primarily because, yeah, you know, of where we are with the case rates and the, and the hospitalizations. You're absolutely right. We, that's where the focus has always should be. And we actually tried to do that earlier to have the focus on hospitalizations, but the governor yeah. ignored that. That was the hospitalizations when they were low. Now they're high. And, and this is, we absolutely have to keep stressing, you know, washing the hands, keeping the social yeah. distance, wearing the mask. We have to do that. But we keep forcing people, you know, out of businesses and, and out from being out, outdoors at a time when this is the virus season. It's darker. People aren't going outside as much as, as they used to. They're not getting the exercise by not being able to go to gyms. And I think I definitely do think we have to keep 
keep up with all with all the safety guidelines, be more focused on them okay. to try to keep these hospitalizations down. I've always advocated for keeping for doing things safely, and this is a time when we have to you know, continue with that effort. How are people supposed to feel in San Diego when you're hearing now that the San Diego Unified, well, you know, they're not going to be able to make that January 4th restart date as planned. Uh, and every expert, every doctor and nurse is almost in a state of panic over being overrun by Christmas. So what should we do? Well, uh, just follow the orders and hopefully the, you know, the politicians who set those orders <laughs> follow them as well. I, I really think you know, it's kind of an apathy that is set in. Sure, no, it's primarily exhaustion. Because, yeah, it, it is, and it's primarily because of, you know, people see politicians and leaders saying one thing and doing another, and, and also the fact that <clears throat> they see these businesses being the, you know, the focus of, of retaliation or, you know, punishment, and they weren't to blame. Mm. You know, they, they, they see, you know, that people, you know, everybody in government's getting paid. So I think there's just a lot of frustration out there, and I, I do think and in in hope these, the hospitalization, these numbers will you know maybe shake some people into reality and say, okay, yeah. now you've got to take these precautions. We have to absolutely take these seriously. And one of the other things, you know, there is some good news coming down the pike is these vaccines, and the vaccines. Hopefully, you know, I know we're not going to get enough right away in, in California. It's going to be kind of be trickled in, but those with underlying conditions. And our frontline workers should be the ones that get those vaccines right. first. And the CDC the, the made ones that with underlying yeah. conditions, those are the ones that unfortunately we're losing. Those, are, that, those are the, that's the largest group that are dying. You know, those, about 95 percent <clears throat> of the deaths have underlying conditions. And so I, I think you know the apathy is kind of set in. But if the vaccine, hopefully this is going to come in. We, we use it wisely. You know, and people don't get ap apathetic about that and take the, that preventative maintenance uh, so hopefully we can get this under control. County Supervisor Jim Desmond, we thank you for your time as always. Hope you had a great Thanksgiving and happy holidays. Merry Christmas to you. Thanks, Raul. Stay safe.